podcast brought to you by Trillionaire TV. Close. Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. It's even uh, funnier when, when niggas is high and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what we got going on? We're going to start it off by introducing ladies first. Ladies first. Oh, it's getting hot in this mm-hmm. bitch. <laughs> Do not mm-hmm. turn that heat off. <laughs> Please don't, sir. You got your jacket on. Why don't you take your jacket um, off? Okay, so I'm Camille. Um, my Instagram is Stranger Danger. Twitter, Stranger Danger. Um, I do have a few businesses. This is a shameless plug. Um, yeah, we'll talk about all that later. <laughs> yeah, man, that's me, Mr. Versi. <laughs> um, I ain't oh, got all the Twitter and stuff on social I media. I just got home. Um, I'm trying to work my new way into life and adapt to this new stuff and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to you know being structured in, in, a, in a house in <laughs> the state. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It's the no time now. I'm not a fella. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Charlie motherfucking Bricks. Formerly Charlie Bricks. I said it's Charlie Mogul. Now I'm going to get y'all used to the mogul side of me here. I'm going to be doing a lot of business. We ain't rapping and all that no more. You don't sell bricks no more. I never did that. Okay. I never did that. <laughs> never in life. Right. As a fake rapper, you know, <laughs> no need for no nothing. I was always a fake rapper, just so we clear. I was always a fake rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I was always Every gun fake. is registered. <laughs> it's all registered with the city. <laughs> nothing gangster about here. <laughs> all player, no gangster. <laughs> All fresh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad y'all can make it, man. You know? Yeah. It finally, yeah, yeah, yeah. It finally it's like happening. It's finally happening. So, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we got to introduce. Oh, Double R. Double R Beats. There we go. Double R Beats YouTube channel. Charlie underscore Charlie six one three. <laughs> Sorry about that. What well, my man tell you on the last one? You, you ain't claiming. <laughs> mm. Oh man. What you mean? So, what's going on, y'all? You know what, what, what you over there sipping on, man? Man, that damn. What is that shit? That cheap. Vodka, okay, Vodka, we ain't got to claim it. They ain't sent the check yet, so it's just Vodka. <laughs> the yeah, shit. We sipping on some white. It's just the white. We sipping on some shit. white. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We just sipping on white. Too. Shit cheap. It, it is Vodka. It is Vodka. We gonna I go like that Vodka. Far. A lot of people be hating on Vodka. I don't understand oh, why. Vodka's my go-to, even though I was raped. Um, of vodka. What? That's how I got my first child. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. Wow, I'm so yeah, sorry. No, no, should we laugh or should we I cry? Mean, that's all I'm saying. I don't even know. I didn't know how to how feel about take that. that. It's a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? Um. I got a beautiful daughter from it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey. Okay. If he. Uh, oh. It's, it's right. didn't report it. <laughs> wow. So is vodka not everybody's go to or no? My go to is tequila. Yeah. Tequila. What's your tequila, <laughs> dog? And what's your tequila to go to? Man, Don Julio. Don Julio, anything. I I'm like, not gonna even lie. I like um Espalon Reposado. That's good. Espalon. Good. Yeah. Um. That's my go to, and then if not vodka, and if not, but I don't drink. So let's start there. I was just, I'm <laughs> this is the one I used to. This one I used to drink, but now I just I, I don't drink. I'll just say that. I just if I do, it's some champagne. <laughs> champagne for the pain. Champagne. Wait, drinking Cristal. No, Cristal. it's not even Cristal. I really like Prosecco. We okay. talked about this though. The champagne of wines. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Wine of champagne. Prosecco live. Um. What else? What else? Good tequila though. You could drink a gallon. Double Don Julio. What's your go-to, man? I don't drink for real, so I don't really. 
Okay. Um, when that shit is around, people leave it, you know. That's what you said, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Kettle one, if it's in the club. Oh, not in the club off Kettle one, for sure. What you in the club <laughs> off of, Double <laughs> Line? We sit in VIP. We're not drinking in the club, bro. We sp- I ain't. We sit in VIP. <laughs> we tell them we want bottle service. What bottles is coming to the table? If they on you, shit. if they on me, whatever. No, I want I'm some getting Louis. I want the highest shit. Louis the Thirteen. Yeah, man. One shot. Double R going I'm gonna up burn top. my chest up. <laughs> you going all the way up top? I've we smoking in the club is it, with is me. It? It's amazing. It's okay. Amazing. Very smooth. I had Louis the Thirteen. Shout out to Phil. He the only nigga that brought to Louis listen, back in the day. Listen, <laughs> I'm a t- everything was going right for that nigga. Man. <laughs> I had <laughs> I had Louis the Thirteenth at a very uh, popular newscaster's home, and her husband. For this was for Christmas. He was like, what were you drinking? I was like, I was drinking 1738. He was like, oh, I got something you like Remy, huh? I got something for you. He left, went, grabbed some Louis the 13th, poured up. It was the smoothest shit I ever had. I was the drunkest I ever was, like, in my life. How much did you have to drink of it? Listen, like- it he poured me up a, 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 a rich... A rich nigga goblet. <laughs> a rich nigga goblet of that shit. It wasn't no wasn't no poor shit. Yeah, he didn't he didn't give me a poor like here nigga a red cup. He hit me with the here. Okay. Full glass, like three double it was like three double shots. <laughs> he girl he poured me up a half yeah, a pint. Fucking the bottle right there, <laughs> He poured me up a half a pint. I finished drinking that. People was playing piano, singing and shit. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I seen judges, everybody up in the crib. We off the Louis, they was balling. I was shocked. Like, yo, this is the greatest drink I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so which one of y'all, when you was drinking, was one of them fucking things? Threw up and shit. Man, I ain't no. even gone. Y'all already knew my limit. I wasn't about to be on this. Listen, you know, I gotta yeah, check my surroundings. I, 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 I never, yeah. I never have a good morning off of champagne. Yeah, I don't like champagne. I it never have a good morning. I have an amazing day. night off of champagne. Horrible I don't want morning. The bubblies, man. I'm straight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Maybe because I don't be like drinking guzzling. it like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I be like, okay, drinking like, it like nigga. Yeah. Man. Like, yeah. Not off uh, the bottle. I it, guess I don't know how to drink this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. I'm like, hey, look. For real. I'm the party's still going. I need a cup. I need something in this cup. So what do you feel like in the morning? Like do you just feel groggy or No, I throw headache? up. Throw I throw up. Throw up. I be having the spins. Okay. Nah, I remember I did some dumb shit and I'm drinking like I don't really get hangovers. Nothing. Most I have is the sound stupid. It's amnesia. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> like, right. But um uh, like yeah, I don't have hangovers like that and shit, nigga. And um, but I remember one night drinking good, whatever. I get to the crib. They can't hear you, cuz. Oh my bad. I, get, I I'm drinking. The world shit. can't hear you. <laughs> Tell your so drunken story. So almost some bullshit. We drinking and shit one night, whatever. I'm feeling good. We clowning, whatever. I get to the crib. It's late. I want the party to keep going, but all I got at the crib is a bottle of wine. What kind of wine? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you say Rossi, then I'm like, hey, I can't honestly Rossi. cannot take because it wasn't my. It was something somebody else left on that on that. He <laughs> poured it, and I poured it. Man, my dude, the first sip, I was like, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up bad. Like I off the wine. What? Okay. Because I'm drinking liquor, and then I ended up. Oh man, wine. yeah, you and doubled then, down. Yeah, that was the That's first. That's two totally different feelings. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> dude. I was like, this. Yeah, I'm about this shit coming up, dog. So when Man. I'm about to mark, I get hot and sweat. I was like, yeah, everybody. I was everybody. Well, I gotta take my shirt off, nigga, because it looked like I play full court basketball in this. It's like I'm drenched, like through. 
I couldn't make it to the bathroom. I grabbed my trash can. Like that was the first time I ever threw up in the trash can. Nigga, I said, hey, I ain't fucking with wine. <laughs> I don't, I don't like wine. What's the worst shit you ever did? Drunk though. Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do stupid shit. I just Let's say see. shit. I mean, I ain't gonna say. I, I, I don't do. I'm not that. Like everybody, was like, no, you were straight. You were just, you know, what I'm saying, you know, what you usually say. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. just, I don't, I don't know. Now what I did. Shit, now dude. this is. I was just telling this story. So, st- fucking with starters. <laughs> oh, starters is uh, what would anybody know? Fuck with starters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Plymouth Bar and Grill. Now Plymouth yeah. is where Which I started one? off. Okay, but we always chilled at the Woodward. Hold on, one down. Going on Woodward. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Starters is the only fucking place where you do not have to pregame. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, you don't. Dog. You don't. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Now I tell people like this, hey, I'ma do two long islands and I'ma be good. I'm be I'm be buzz. Anything after that, I'm not responsible for what I say or do. do. Oh my goodness. Off oh, rip. I tell niggas off rip. So one day I was just telling this story. Fast forward, it was me and my homegirl. We bored. I'm like, Let's tell motherfuckers to meet us up at Starters and shit. Okay. All right, bet. Made a little post. We have to start a drink. So it comes, it's three of us, me and two of my homegirls. We all three in the motherfucking Starters. We sitting there. I order my first drink, whatever we talking. Next thing you know, my other homegirl come. Bam. So it's four of us. So we sitting there talking, talking, drinking, drinking. I look up. My homeboy sitting across from me. I was like this. Nigga, when you get here? <laughs> this nigga was like, he looked at me like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, nigga, we just was talking to each other and shit. But I'm like, hmm, whatever. Fast forward. Now, that's like two more motherfuckers at the table and shit. I'm like, okay, whatever. Get worse. I, whatever. Fast forward. I had to go to the bathroom. I come back. It's more motherfuckers here. Like, we didn't got the whole starters area by so. Fast forward. This is where it get worse. All I know is I'm at the table and I'm talking. <laughs> Next thing I know, I swear it was like this. Everybody is in my house. And I'm sitting up here. Nigga, Tupac ain't really get shot five times. This is the middle of the conversation. <laughs> this is what I this is my this is the blink. I'm just talking. Like, yeah. We and in my mind, I'm looking like, hey, how the fuck everybody get here and shit? Then it's two niggas that I never met in my life sitting right here and shit. And I was just like, oh, this is different. While I'm still trying to get my point off. About two <laughs> ain't getting shot five times and shit, and it was just that was the weirdest shit. Yeah, so yeah, that was a whole blackout scene. Then the next, yeah, yeah, it's some other shit <laughs> we ain't got to go into. But yeah, yeah, that's that was a whole blackout. Yeah. And in the middle of that shit, <laughs> everybody's in my house <laughs> oh, with two extra motherfuckers that I've never met in my oh, life, dude. So. Listen, I went to Eastern Michigan University. For a hot second, mm-hmm. so I had fun up there, and I didn't go. I ain't have a. I, I can't think of no weird shit that really happened to me. That, but I witnessed a lot of drunken shit. We okay. was the catalyst for a lot of drunken shit, but it didn't really happen to us. It happened to other people. Like this girl bet me that she could drink like. She was like, malt liquor ain't shit. It's like, motherfucking, it ain't as strong as regular liquor. She drink Hennessy and all this. So I'm like, all right, well, look. I'll buy you a fifth. If you <laughs> if you can drink a 40 of ice 800 sitting down, you know, chilling. Dude, she was like, what? You talking about beer? I was like, yeah. It's more liquor. She like, all right, well, let's do it. I'm like, all right, bet. She fucking guzzled the forty instead of drinking it regular. Like we like, I'm like, you don't have to guzzle. She guzzles the shit. Longer ass. Listen, I go to. We, everybody used to get drunk as fuck at my crib. We stayed off campus. Everybody get drunk, pass out. We all. We all pass out. We was drinking that whole night. Everybody playing drunk games, all this shit. Pass out. About 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, my man's banging on my door. I'm 
like, what? He like, dog, oh girl, who you bet is sitting in the chair. She just pissed in the chair, nigga. Uh. I was like, what? He like, dog, she thought she was in the bathroom. She got up and everything. He was like, I'm, I'm laying on the couch. <laughs> And I'm not asleep. I'm just like laying like I'm asleep. He was like, she done got up. She done pulled her pants down, sat in the chair, nigga. <laughs> Pissed in the chair. <laughs> Reached for the toilet tissue like this. No toilet tissue there. She just pulled her pants what? up. What's this? Lay back down to go to sleep on the, <laughs> Who's on the floor. Was this, though? My crib, dog. Oh, no. Listen. We was so fucked up. We we just went to sleep. <laughs> we went, everybody went back to sleep. Like Doc, we go deal with this in the morning. <laughs> the, mo- <laughs> the, mo- the morning is three hours away. <laughs> it's four. <laughs> it's like four thirty. <laughs> Listen, we everybody wake up, Doc. I'm like, hey, where uh where old girl at? They're like, Doc, she go. <laughs> It's like she gone. She gone, dog. She got the fuck up out of here. I guess she knew <laughs> what it was. But yeah, she that that's the top of the craziest shit that that I witnessed on some drunk shit. Um I have to say the craziest thing I did. Um, I was in Houston and um I just got really drunk and I fell asleep at a restaurant. Me and my friend were really drunk. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when the um you know, the I guess the restaurant was closing and they came up to us like you have to get up or we're going to call the police. So apparently we've been uh, like getting up and going back to sleep. Getting up and going back to sleep like they're like get up or we're going to call the police. That's all I remember and I was like, "Whoa, okay. Let's go." <laughs> that was serious. Also, I got like a huge tattoo on my leg and I really I wanted to get a tattoo on my leg. It was exactly what I wanted, but it was like huge. Like it wasn't even how I wanted it to look. I was just so drunk. I was just like, "Yeah." So when I woke up, I was like, "Oh my god." Damn. Like, "Oh my god." I was the crying. Big tattoo. Yes. So that's the craziest thing I did. That's wow. I ain't never been drunk for real or the scene. Man, that shit. you definitely. Uh, hey, when niggas get drunk as hell and start tripping, I just leave. I don't even stick around. You know what? I, I don't like being around drunk motherfuckers unless I've been drunk. I be out. Yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> hell yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my God. They say the exactly. same shit 20 times. Yeah. And oh, then I don't, I don't like screaming at you like, you. okay, relax. <laughs> Hugging you, want to get in your face. You I know. love you. Like, okay. Yeah, motherfucker love you. I love like you too. Yeah. I don't. I'm they, all, they always remember. <laughs> I want to tell you something real. I'll just tell you some real shit real quick, dog. I'm only saying this shit. I'm going to tell you this shit. I'm going to tell you this shit. When you gave me that $5 that one day. I never forgot that shit. To me, that meant like, nigga, you knew I needed that fat. Nobody knew but you. Because you was in tune with me. Nigga, relax. Oh, man. Alcohol hit my crew hard. Know a lot of got a lot of stories about alcohol. It's mm. part yeah. of the game. Um, anybody ever tried crack? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't say that I have, man. Not tell on us my a, list of things to uh, do. Tell us about your experience. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like, bro? His <laughs> road. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to I slip did. it in real like, fast. Crack, uh, you know, <laughs> rolled a rock or two. Like, what the fuck? No. Hell. Not no. me, man. Can't come back. I remember this dude in LA I went to school with. He was younger than me. He was Colombian. He was like, hey, dude, you got to talk in the microphone, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. It was a guy in Colombia. I mean, it was a guy in LA I used to kick it I mean, not kick it with, but we went to school with. And he was cool. He was like a younger dude, and he was like, we had to do our little animation, graphics and shit. He was like, dude, we should just like do some acid one day and just work on some shit. Well, I was like, no, I don't do that shit. And this motherfucker telling me his experience. He's like, one day I did the shit, and then the clock melted. 
he, did, he said he did what in that? This was acid. He did. Okay. Oh, he was telling me all the shit that he did. So I'm like, you ever did cocaine? He was like, yeah, dude, and I'll never do it again. I'm like, damn, it's that bad. No, it's that good. I'm like, what's <laughs> that <laughs> fucking good, bro? Yeah, he was like, this shit is awesome. <laughs> so I was like, I'm straight on all that shit. Yeah. I ain't even. I like shrooms. Shrooms. I like marijuana. Uh, me too. I'm I a, like I'm weed too. Mary yeah. Jane. I like weed, but but <laughs> as an adult, I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Shrooms. It's crazy. I outside. like shrooms. Shrooms outside. Don't like. I don't want nothing grown. Not some shrooms shit. indoor. This girl I'm real cool with. She <laughs> she just went out of town on a um. What's the what's the other the uh, mushroom that's like the super damn Not, there we go ayahuasca okay. the ayahuasca she went on the ayahuasca trip she said it's like whew. yeah um a friend of mine did bufo frog you ever heard of that you lick the toad and shit yeah good tyson do that good. i might okay. tyson talking about good licking the toad lick the toad and good. go on some acid trip and some yeah. Yeah, you supposed to it's like supposed to be life changing. Uh but that's li- what the ayahuasca shit is. Yeah, Listen, but they say Buffalo Frog is stronger. Neil Brennan. Go ahead. Neil Brennan, Dave Chappelle's writer, was the white dude, right? The white dude. He was um atheist mm-hmm. for the major he for like half his life. He went on an ayahuasca trip and he believes in God now. He was like, yeah. yo. That really changed my life. <laughs> like, yeah. What God do he believe in? He he said he believes in a higher power. <laughs> okay. He said he believes that. Hey, listen. Man. He was like, from what he saw. <laughs> Y'all playing with him. <laughs> hey, listen. He said from what he saw. That don't have nothing to do with religion. That's spiritual. That's I mean, spiritual. Like, he said from what he saw. <laughs> but look. <laughs> Man, listen, religion. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 God is just. How we, are we in a yeah, conversation within yeah. the conversation? Cause yeah. I'm talking. We talking about ayahuasca and dope. Man, I don't know nothing. About <laughs> we talking that mushroom shit. dope. We talking mushroom dope. I don't know nothing about that shit. Cause. Mushroom dope. It's like nah. I swear. But no, they said the ayahuasca is a is a, is a life changing experience. I ain't never messed with that. I just I don't mess with regular mushrooms. You know, Reggie mushrooms. I ain't really did no. Hey, that nigga so said the, the red super, super strongs. The strand I did was called Lizard King. Oh Lizard damn! King. I didn't even know they had different. Strands. I didn't know that Me either. either. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Lizard King, I know I like that. Day, Fifteen years ago, I ain't yeah. Never heard my it dog just was like, "We got the Mario boys." So y'all do the uh, the, the little silver cans too. That What's the, all over the, the whippets? No. The whippets? Oh no! <laughs> like CO2 I honestly didn't even know people Bing did bong. that for real. Like again, it kind of reminded me of like crackling when they was inhaling that glue. Man, like, I was. Mm-mm. I do natural drugs. Drugs, plural. Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Mar- Wait, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Real quick, I need to know. Okay, so what is the Whip it. Like, I need to really know. I need you to ever shot a BB whole... gun, a CO2 cartridge, and a BB gun, a low set? Of, of course not. You ever um, been in the hood? <laughs> you ever been in the hood on Finkel and just hit the damn corner and look it down on the street? And you the little like silver 20, cartridge 20, look like Spider Man's web thing. You know 20 cans on the fucking It's like it this. It's aluminum oh, okay. little propane. It looked like a little propane tank. It damn okay. Okay. Like and they it. put the balloons in there and. Okay. But it's a tiny one. I don't know it's how like they did it. Big. I didn't know that's what okay. they did. Mm-hmm. And then they just they they I suck the I air. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. Talk I've to this seen, nigga. I've yeah. never seen. They suck the air. Is helium? Yeah. Or is no, it's they, no, they CO2. Too, what it's is CO2? It's helium, you know, uh, mother motherfucker. It's air. It's so, the, it's and the they cold air, though. It's the frozen it's air. <laughs> like that. Like damn near. Yeah, you, they get high. Does it fuck your mind up? Like that's you know what you know, stuff you like know that. what I think. What that's what is the? I mean, I'm sure there's long term. I couldn't. I don't know. You know that shit fuck your head up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's I'll be like, I don't understand it's why like inhaling people just the, get uh, on doing shit like that. You have to think about the long term right. effects. Well, like the, it's know, like inhaling what, the whipped cream what's, cans. What's, what's the oxygen mask the old people need? But oxygen. it's not oxygen. That's the oxygen. Though. It's 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 CO2. if it's oxygen, then why does it have to be contained in a little storage piece? Why you know what I'm saying? That, why does that? Well, 
Because it's compressed to oxygen. Club, you if you oxygen it, gets you high. You That's why it, when you're playing yeah. crash and shit, you inject oxygen to get you high and relax you to be fucked up. That's <laughs> right. what they said. Calm your ass down. I didn't, like, do, I didn't do the research, but it makes sense to me. Okay. If you, because if you, you ever go to an oxygen bar? No. Me neither. I've been to, I a <laughs> bar. I've been to an oxygen bar. How that was nigga, it? It was cool. Legends used to be an oxygen bar. Hey, you just try everything. I don't know. Not everything. That but that Not sounds cool. Like, did you feel better? Nah. Yeah, you hey. did. You no. heard that shit twice. No, did. Never. Dang. You look like, I know you fucking. Yeah, yeah, you did. Hey, something. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. He did it hey, on the senior yeah. trip. Hey, no, no. Hey, man. Cabo. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, man. Okay. Back yeah. to the mushrooms, exactly. man. You like this? That's the safe. Cabo. Hey, Let's sir. have a safe conversation. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. What, what do cocaine smell like? <laughs> hey, I have no idea, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he did what it, it smell Cabo. like, dude? <laughs> what do cocaine smell like? I don't know. I know what mushrooms smell like. Those hey, things. Bricks. What does cocaine mm-hmm. smell like? Hey, man. he did it in Cabo. Look. <laughs> <laughs> We could oh, talk about nigga crack that brick. He know what it's like. He done put Listen. it on his tongue or some shit. Yeah, he Hell no. Yeah. Put it in my mouth, nigga. I ain't putting nothing That's in my mouth. That's how niggas man. test it. That's how niggas <laughs> test it. Oh, coke. man, I ain't putting it in my mouth. Look, oh, my dog. <laughs> Listen, man. My dog said my dog went went to he went to uh Columbia mm-hmm. and with his family. And he said he they was like coming out. <laughs> They was coming up with cocaine like it was motherfucking candy bars. Like, hey, want some cocaine? Like the kids, everybody, cocaine, cocaine. He like, oh, no, nah, man, no. Nah. He was hey. like, I end up trying that shit like? out there. And that was probably pure. Listen, <laughs> he was like, dog, I was around my parents with that shit, dog. I was fucked what? up all day. <laughs> I was like, yo, no, dog, but yeah. That's one of my one of my best friends. We like dog. How did you try? He was like, man. First, I like I like put a little on my tongue. My other dog was like, oh <laughs> nigga, you done put it in your mouth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. yeah, 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 man. That shit's crazy. Don't fuck with cocaine. No more. No, nope. I'm sorry. never. You tell us. I never they did. know the drugs <laughs> Except for mushrooms <laughs> Except for the shrooms They're from the earth and weed So okay <laughs> Hey what if you're, you're right about that yeah. What no, if us, uh, Coca you know, What Coca if we leaves. living in the simulation And the drugs is the way out That's why they don't want us to fuck with mm, That's an interesting Standpoint that shit might be the way out. Did you? Uh, mushrooms are legal here in Michigan. All I know is Kobe did, man. Yeah, I mean, he might have <laughs> is been. he really though? <laughs> was he really I'm ever alive? Away from the pharmaceuticals. <laughs> I'm straight. Man. I don't want nothing to do with the drugs. Listen, man. We graduated. From pharmaceuticals is how they gonna get the chip in you. Yeah. I don't want nothing. Why they need it? They don't need a chip in you. They got your <laughs> phone. Your phone is the chip. Uh, man, That's listen, true. Man, I was all just I watching it. Leave that well, here and I'm what? off the grid. Yeah, because even if you think something, it comes up on your timeline. Like, well, that's because, that. yeah. that's yeah. super yeah. disgusting and it scares me. I be like, I literally be in my bed shook sometimes because it be so specific. Like, man, I would I'm talk what? about music what it is. and that shit a pop up on my YouTube. Your I be talking about music that I ain't even talked about in years. Your even mic- if you just think it though, like even if you yeah. don't say it out loud, oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's, that's weird. the scary part. We be part. talking about and then that shit just pop up on the timeline. Try, try just be. Being like why you just at home scrolling and just watch I, that shit is weird yeah, it's very it's weird it feels invasive very but, yeah that shit tapped into us man i don't like that i don't like that Mm-mm. why not um, <laughs> why not i don't want to be in the you don't want to be at the 100s I don't what's that. the 100s you ain't watch that show on Netflix? I feel like I started to and they just like start dropping them down on earth or something like that. Yeah. Out the bunkers. <laughs> hey, you gotta watch that shit though because that shit like... Yo. That shit crazy. The movie recording has been stopped automatically. Hey man, don't show off the GPC and shit, dog. I 
Yeah, I'm like, this is Benny Snake Eye Wilson. Only reason I can see this because I got on my glasses. Right, man. I'm over <laughs> here like, all I see is stopped. Man. Yeah. Did y'all see the new Avatar? Man, I haven't. Is is that the what is that a movie? The yeah, blue did you see the first one? Oh, I think I seen that. I think I took my kids to see that shit. Yeah, the second one asleep. or the first one? Whichever the last one that just came out. The new like boy. Two hours. Yeah, it was long as fuck. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Did you like it? Yeah, because I like shit like that, though. Like, I'm a sci fi. Yes, I swear to God. You liked it or you just told I swear I liked it. I even cried at the end. It kept your attention. It does. It's not like one of those movies that you just be like, oh, this is boring. It's constantly something going going on. Like, (laughs) constantly a fighting scene or just some shit that be like, oh, shit, what's going to happen? A big ass pterodactyl flying. All in yeah. camera <laughs> But it's like crazy and cool How they like put so much detail into all of it So that's why it just keeps your attention Like it's like fascinating that yeah. Like if I was to see it in 3D I, I know that shit would have been lit well, At IMAX Yeah Do y'all follow That's the- where Yeah you gotta see IMAX yeah. Y'all seen it in IMAX Quit that bullshit man What <laughs> <laughs> Does that have it at IMAX <laughs> I don't even know why they that, that shit be live. <laughs> that shit be live. That shit be live. I mean, just, he like, fucked yeah. up. Man. What you mean? <laughs> Y'all be, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, know how why we, he just done that. Hey, that's but, uh, after I forgot his post COVID and all that. So you know. Do y'all um follow the Marvel series? No. Hell yeah. Uh, some right. of them. I really like Batman movies. I just came to that conclusion. That's DC. You totally disrespect what I just. Said. <laughs> That's not Wolverine, man. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> so like, y'all don't think? Okay, so who is your favorite Marvel superhero? I don't have one. You don't have one. You don't have like a favorite movie like. Hey, watch this. Out, like? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is no, I know he wants to say. Bice. <laughs> who? Bison. <laughs> that is very bison is shit. He like she what? probably don't know who we talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Street yeah, Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> dude. Um, what what bison. era are you in? We ain't gonna say. Uh, we not gonna say um, your age. Are you a seventies, eighties, nineties, nineties, nineties? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is about to be fun. <laughs> early in night. Early in late five. You gonna go ninety five? No. Ninety two. No. One. Four. Four. Mm-hmm. So you right was. There. So you was born the year Pac got shot. So we. Yeah. The first time. Okay. First, <laughs> the first time. Got shot. So we are gonna okay. rule you out. So you didn't do it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's see. I'm innocent. So ninety four. So two thousand and four is when you can really. Damn my shit. Hold on. Damn. I'm he, he back. Cracked the pending on <laughs> pending on who. Who your parents is, you remember stuff around ninety eight. What was what was your first what was your what was your uh, it was really thugging in the, the crib that it was you like was, you grew up watching. <laughs> On TV. Yeah, like, what was the cartoon character you grew up watching? Um, honestly, okay, like I used Barney. to watch, I do remember I Barney. Barney. I do remember Barney, but I was Barney. not like super into Barney, right. like I remember Barney. Like I remember random shit. Like what did your parents put on the leave so read. you can like leave the, them the fuck alone? Like Molly in a big comfy couch. Like just exactly like just random Man. stuff like that. But like I can remember watching Hey Arnold. Oh, oh I okay, hey, okay, um, I can boom. Yeah, I, watching, know um, <laughs> I know that. I know that one. Hey Arnold. Yeah, you fucked it. Up. Hold it in there the best way you can, my dog. Bricks tore it up. I did not. <laughs> uh, I got it. I'm back in business. All right. So, so watch Cat Dog. Oh, I remember Cat oh, Dog. Who was your first rapper you fell in love with? <laughs> hey, how did you fall in love with hip hop? <laughs> oh, no, it's embarrassing. I'm not even gonna say. Say it, no, cause this so niggas was a uh, uh, crisscross. <laughs> I mean, ABC yeah. jump. Bridge. It was Little Bow Wow. Yo, yo. Okay, but okay. no, Bow Wow. Little Bow Wow. That's your parents. That's your parents. That, that's that's your your parents. No, it that's ain't. <laughs> that was supposed to. Bow Wow was the shit for little motherfuckers back then. Yeah. That was her era. That was um, his favorite artist. What was your, uh, <laughs> nigga fucking with me. First video. All I want to do is see you bounce with me, bounce with me. 
That's my argument. But this nigga coming out the discography. Right. I'm gonna be the O W. Um, my first video game I used to play. In a, I used to play Mario Kart oh, no, on the Nintendo sister? 64. 64 was the shit. And mm-hmm. I used to play Golden Eye. I was just about to Golden say, so Eye was the yeah. shit. Was the man. best game on 64. Yeah, I played Golden Eye. We had a team of assassins oh, on that know, game. You, you know about the 64, you ain't that young. You know yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, right see, that's right like a younger I mean, sibling. It's <laughs> fucked up because you got to realize. You 70s? I'm I'm late. I'm the last seventy nine nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This nigga the late sixties. First of all, this seventy eight ass nigga right here though. Nigga. <laughs> this nigga the late sixties. Late sixties, <laughs> early seventies. Like pork chop sad birds and shit though, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Like what y'all ninety four? Y'all nice. <laughs> Y'all graduated the year she was born. I man, was man. <laughs> man. Hey, All I know is this nigga drove to seventh grade, dog. That's yeah. all I know. Damn. Damn. Listen, man. This Damn. nigga is late that 60s. That nigga draw. I'm like, hey, Early can 70. I get a ride to the crib? Like, I got you, nigga. First yeah. rapper was at the skating ring. He remember. What skating? Wheels or, or Wheels <laughs> North That nigga had the other Rapper's one. Delight <laughs> Rapper's Delight He was there You was performing? Hip Hop Hip Oh nigga no nigga I don't do that <laughs> I can't I don't even skate You know who just made me I do not know how skate? to skate either Hey I'm gonna tell you Who just made me wanna skate What? Who? This nigga look this Cold in the motherfucker that nigga Usher I knew you was finna say that I Why would it. I not like, Nigga Why would I not Nigga Why would I not he I, I, could, got the I could get him right now. He on there. I'm not that gonna, nigga, he hey, I was like, crazy. but he got a whole, you know, that nigga got a what they call residency in uh, Vegas, Vegas, which means yeah, he yep. got a show every like. Yeah. What, what's the uh, what's the oldest nigga to do it? Paul Nugent or some bullshit. Paul, like, El- yeah. Elton John. Yeah, all them motherfuckers. <laughs> right. and shit. Low key. But this nigga has a whole. Actually, my homegirl trying to get the tickets right now. Whole experience. This nigga got the stripper poles. Nigga got the skating. This nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, make that shit look like it's so effortless. That nigga just yeah. Glad also, and that's what he does when he's performing. Basically. That's one of his acts. Listen, the thing about I said been to an Usher concert. Like honestly, I didn't yeah. even realize how much of an Usher fan I was because like his <laughs> category of but music is so ca- big. That's what concerts exactly. do. I'm gonna tell you yeah, as much as I be shit. talking and shit he's about. And a performer. He performs his sure. ass off from nigga, beginning. Nigga, roller skating he around are, the motherfucker. He are Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Chris Brown, key. Usher, we got some back. But see, you know what the fuck that thing about Chris Brown is never going to be recognized until he gets murdered or died. You crazy as fuck. He I don't believe that because he's exactly. He I just went to a Chris now. Brown concert. Hey, he they love that. Chris Brown, right now, any song right that now, Chris Brown right is now. on the course of, and it has some good artists on it. It's going to be on the radio, Chris and it's going to play, every and song. it's going to stream. Every song. It's going to stream. That man is rich as hell. Do you man. know how big Chris Brown is supposed to be? Yeah, but that's true. Because he, he, of that blemish, no, he, beat it, he beat up. Oh, God. exactly. That's yeah. my whole point. We're, after he's gone, he's just still like everybody. Fuck, but he gotta leave that coke alone too, though. Why? He does. No, because because it's, it's a Why? 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 <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Was, I mean, Ma- I know was he's Michael? Making, was Michael? For, yes, no, I'm sorry, I know he was making good. He still makes good music and all of that different type of stuff. But like you could just tell in his mannerisms, like when he's talking on. Like when he's doing interviews, like you could just tell, like he's yeah, not well. Powder. He be like, no, nah, not well. He just looks sickly now. He just be off that powder. <laughs> no, his face looks sunk in. He's so off the powder. Like, he, off he that just like, powder. I fuck with you, Chris Breezy, but you off the powder. I don't give a fuck. Hey man, you off the powder. Hey dog, look, <laughs> off the powder. keep talking that shit to these motherfuckers about that. I'm so glad he made that post. Like man, fuck y'all. I did. I me too. Because for real, like yeah, dude, and off some real boop, shit. Boop. I'm not, Hey, I don't give a fuck how we you fuck with Chris Breezy, in. nigga. I seen a nigga make a post. This shit was hilarious. That nigga was like, "I'm at the age when I realized Chris Brown and Rihanna had a fight, and Chris Brown won." Nigga, <laughs> 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 like, on some real shit. <laughs> Have you ever seen? I can't name what it was, but he had a little documentary or whatever. He basically talked about shit. Nigga, <laughs> they was fighting. Yeah, they yeah. seventeen. Hey. Look, I was about to, I was about to act shit, I was about to be on some it's shit. Some shit I know one of you niggas didn't hit a bitch before and shit, nigga. No, nah, so, not me. I oh, never, no. never. Oh, me, not what? me. I haven't. Hey, hey look. look. <laughs> if, if you, <laughs> I have you. So after that cocaine, you ain't never hit a bitch. Nigga. Look, 
I told no. you, man. Hey, that's me, you up hey, there, powder. Me, I'm not. It, look, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm not about to be in no relationship Listen. where we physical. Because you hit me in my nose, and I and I feel like that hurt, and I'm about to tear up. <clears throat> Bitch, I'm roundhouse kicking your ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, they be like, oh, come oh on. for real? Oh, look at me hey. like this. Not they say okay. men shouldn't <laughs> should hit women, right? No, but I do feel like... I <laughs> but we was all taught to keep our hands to our fucking self. I do, it's self-defense at one point. I baby. will say, yeah, I do kind of believe that. In a certain extent. Like, if you are a woman and you're picking a fight with a man... Like it's it is self defense after like even especially if like I don't know you or if I'm like hey chill chill I don't chill. Give a fuck about the relationship, <laughs> but like, nigga, you know, no, no, I'm not saying a, a, no, a I man. Say this. I'm not saying a man should hit a woman, but I do believe like don't hit people if you don't want to deal with the consequences. And that's everybody. Look, I put like this. <laughs> I say this shit, but mostly I'll throw your ass down. Now, if I really feel threatened. <laughs> If you lose it, on that shit. Yeah, if you exactly. lose in the fight, this nigga, this, <laughs> this nigga, I gotta pull out shit that I gotta pull out on a nigga. You ain't fighting no girls, but not there. fighting. Uh, I feel you like say okay, you ain't fighting girls in trouble. <laughs> I'm not around. A, I'm not around a, a female Listen, that's gonna run up on me. And do I got a question. I'm gonna tell that. you what oh, somebody oh, told me. Oh, all of you. Yes. An old school person told me years ago. He was like, "Don't ever." Put your hands on no woman you know. He was like, because when the get back come back around, you're not going to know where it's coming from. Makes sense. You could walk past a nigga on the street. Women can get niggas and crazy don't have shit, no man. idea. Honestly, and that nigga that walk about behind anybody, your ass though, and nigga. crack you upside you your head. You can say that about anybody I'm in just any saying situation, you know. nigga. Nah, I know some real nah, shit. Nah, because like, when a nigga come and get get back, he coming to get his get back. <laughs> and you might see him like, okay, here go this whole ass nigga again. If you got whatever me on you. Me and you, we'll get into it. You bust me and my shit. I realize I can't get you. But I need you guys. Y'all see, the, do y'all watch the news? Anybody watch? I don't watch the news. Not anymore. Well, do y'all know about the Instagram uh, page, Vibes Detroit? Mm -mm. No. Like what page. is that about? It's a woman. She uh, she basically go to all the shit popping, reformed around Detroit. You know what I'm saying? And she posts the shit, tell you what, what she oh, like yeah, about Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. So, if you was from, let's say y'all stay out of state and shit, you know what I'm saying? Would you recommend... Detroit for dating, like absolutely like? not. <laughs> Why? Damn. Why not? Absolutely not. Why not? Okay, where have you? Where would you recommend dating? <laughs> yeah, like, what That's the fuck? a good question. LA. Definitely, no, definitely not I LA. Came from LA, nigga. <laughs> definitely not LA. Hey, my man went to LA. I'm, okay. I'm out there. No, I don't recommend. LA Wait a minute. Let's anything. go back to Detroit. <laughs> Let's stay on that. Why? Uh, I it is just a it's a different mentality. What's the mentality? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but I for me personally, when you live somewhere your whole life mm -hmm. and you know people, it's just for me. This is how I feel. Like everybody. Is like low key connected. You ever like heard about like six degrees six of degrees. separation? Mm. And I just really am a right. private person, yeah. so I don't like. Um, I just don't like. I guess I really don't like people in my business. And I feel like in, in a place that you grew up in, yeah. people are bound to be in your business some kind of way, shape, or form. And it's not that I'm like trying to be super secretive. I just Man. don't. And Detroit is like that. Yeah, like everybody knows everybody. Like, but like uh. Damn, Camille, what school did she go to? Oh, she went there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nigga, that's yeah. Mark daughter. Yeah. yeah. It's always like, like that. Oh, man. And what? I know that's a weird reason to, but that's just why I feel like at this age that I'm at, like, I just know. What's and I've seen shit. I've, I've seen the shit with my own eyes. Like, oh, this person told me this about you. Like, I don't even know that person. Like, right. that's not, I don't even know that person. And that didn't even happen. Like, that? Man, I went to middle about? school where, <laughs> nigga, sixth grade. Nigga, she know me. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> I, I recommend my man to go to Ohio. I recommend Ohio for a date. The O H T N. Oh, whoa. Perrysburg, man. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right. 
Yeah, may as well. I don't know. No, I, ain't say. I don't know. So, what about you? What's I'm your gonna, experience during you a single uh, bachelor out here, Cuz? My experience was not good. That's why I'm, I'm single. Now you definitely got to talk what's, in the microphone, man. Look, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, my experience is this, though. Like, what is it? I ain't gonna. My, I, I'm an observer, so I have a lot of. First of all, I'm a male, so I I, I kind of yeah. grasp on how males think. And I have a lot of female surroundings. And I hear these stories. And um, The male, this is the worst time ever to be dating. Mm. Why? One, uh, people want to uh, live in the past. They want to benefit from the past structures and shit but they live in a modern day world like women give me an example man okay for example women want they everybody's still talking this male is supposed to be the provider and the paying protector. all the bills yeah all that shit yeah but women okay. most women in, uh in a common area yeah. without going into professions and shit women are making more money than the men so they want a man, a male to come through and pay I wouldn't. and be the provider, whereas they want, I need you to come through and come. You you mean from an entrepreneurial standpoint or a career standpoint? Just period. What you mean? When you say women make it more than men, because a lot of women will argue that men make more than women and I think it is more men. Um, what, what I will say, not, I, I believe a lot of I women. Put it like this, I put it like this, like, though. Women have their shit more together averagely. 